let's finish off the balance sheet um, and there's one thing I remind you how to do if you want to get um, two screens visible on um, two worksheets visible on your screen go to view go to new window now go to uh, arrange all and vertical so there we are now I'll make this smaller so I'll make this a lot smaller now with this one I will want to go back to the um, trial balance which is really the worksheet and there's a few items that I'll um, want to get on the worksheet so what I'm going to do actually I don't think you can do <coughs> is um, hide some columns so I go over to format hide column I can I don't so now we can see these side by side and we've got all of those down to there then next we've got equipment non-current assets equals equipment less accumulated depreciation and again equipment accumulated depreciation is its contra account so that's a less and then we'll have here the carrying amount for that which is 140 minus 24 Oops. then total assets is non-current assets plus current assets I've done them the other way around now this total won't come up correct because remember I've got a, an issue with allowance for bad debts and it's probably good for highlighting how when there's an issue it can um, it transfers all the way through now let's go down to current liabilities is accounts payable and typically in a chart of accounts notes payable would come before accounts payable then interest payable GST payable receivable and it is payable in this case so we can go across to um, these item accounts payable and we can fill that down and equals so there's our um, current assets as uh, so current liabilities <coughs> we have no non-current liabilities we did put none in this assignment total liabilities equals current plus non-current and our total owner's equity whoops this total here is that plus that plus that probably would have helped if there was another line in there and we can see 558092 our balance sheet balances now again our balance sheet is not showing up perfectly there because we've got that one issue so <clears throat> there's now the financial statements done but we still have some journals to do and then I should have done already but I didn't do and then we'll have um, some closing off to do I don't I can probably close that page and then I might want that again um, general journal All right, we've done the journals I just haven't posted them to the general ledger and then the closing entries all right I better post these so that means I better get that page back so I go to view at the top new window and then I go arrange all vertical okay I've got two there so the quickest way bring this across now go to the general ledger 
and make sure these items are entered. So, supplies expense, whoops. Okay, down the expenses, we know expenses will be down the bottom. Down here are referred to as office supplies expense. Would be better if they were the same name. But our date here, June 30. Uh, adjustment. Reference is G4. That's right. Well, that was in there. G4. And I'll fix it up. Debit. Supplies expense. Total balance is going to be about $10,000 to $10,375. Done. Enter that collateral. Well, Nothing there yet. So, this is now being posted. 628. And I'll put these in. G4. Oops. G5. G6. So, remember this stands for General Journal and the number of the General Journal. G7. G8. So we've done part of BUN. Um, I think I'll do the insurance expense while I'm down here because all the expenses will be down here. So now that should have been June, June 1, opening balance, June 30, adjustments. Reference is G5. The debit is 1000. I can now make this 12,000. And I can indicate that this has been posted. <coughs> So this we can do, um, we don't have to com completely post one journal because we know where we're up to by our posting here. So depreciation expense, so we know depreciation is going to be down here too. Depreciation, let's fix this up, June 1, opening balance, June 30, could be adjustments or you could also put depreciation for June. Um, reference. G6, debit again, 1000, it's already been added, depreciation expense, it's 1-1, one, one. 11,000 plus 1000 is 12,000. So we're flying through here. Interest expense. Probably right at the bottom. Well, so I'll fix that. June 1, no balance. Um, June 30, adjustment. Now, I guess for many of you, you can just go on. You don't really need my guidance here anymore. Um, I don't know why that has not come up as being correct. The amount is um, 650. You can probably just fill down there and try Alt D and paste this item here. 30 interest expense G7 yep I had a, a bad debt expense and this one's a little bit unusual of course the expense is falling because why is it falling we set aside too much money for bad debt expense and at the end of the year when we did a reasonableness check 
we found we'd set aside too much, so we're now allowing for that. Um, bad debt expense will be a contra to sales. Sales, bad debt expense, June 1. Opening balance, June 30. Uh, adjustment equals G, G8. And this will be a credit. 9850. Mm, let me just. Check that to um, the trial balance. Trial balance. Oh, I've got to unhide these now. Unhide columns. And bad debt expense nine eight five zero. Yep, that's correct. So bad debt expense is four hundred point two. I know we've got half of them done. Now they were easy to do to do all the expenses together. Now let's uh, go back and do some of the items at the top. I've got an asset here, supplies on hand. So inventory, office supplies on hand. June, now these are into, so down below were um, temporary accounts and now we're getting into permanent accounts. Um, adjustment. Is G4. Adjustment supplies on hand falls by six thousand. <coughs> so it will fall to ten thousand. <coughs> and this will be its closing balance. <coughs> um, and we can put that in one thirty. Now, again, I'm sure you've got a pretty good handle on this, so I might just uh, pause this for a bit, fill in a few more. So this is not running too long. So you just see I've done in <coughs> insurance, 140, June 30, adjustment from G5. Don't know why that didn't go green. Um, 1,000, that's now fallen to 10,000. And so I've entered the closing balance. This is a... Permanent account, so I'll enter the closing balance in the bottom. Same with equipment. Permanent account, transfer the closing balance down. Um, <coughs> accumulated depreciation, let's now do accumulated depreciation. Again, if we see how we're not doing the one journal at a time, we're grouping like transactions together to post. <coughs> and we can see accumulated depreciation. 160.1, it's a contra account related to equipment. And again, you saw in the financial statements we had equipment, 140,000, uh, less accumulated depreciation, 24,000, to give us a carrying amount of 116,000. So, June 30, adjustments from the G6, the credit 1,000. Um, now, here's an important thing to note here. This is an asset where all these assets are debits, but this is a contra asset, so this is a credit. So I've added a credit, we've gone from 23,000 up to 24,000 and a closing balance of 24,000. So we've done interest payable, now interest payable is a liability, so we've come down a bit further to account 230. Um, it is a credit and the liabilities are naturally a credit, so we put that 650 in for that now um, being a closing balance. Now I do <coughs> the last adjustments journal, 
we had allowance for bad debts, which is a contra asset to accounts receivable. Now, this is quite unusual. Um, we're putting a debit balance to allowance for bad debt, so we're actually reducing our allowance. So remember that, we did that, we thought we'd overestimated. Now, this has not gone green. Again, this is the carry through issue we have had the whole time. Um, so that's now all of our adjustment journals done. And in a business now, you would just print off um, the, your adjusted trial balance. And from that adjusted trial balance, we would have produced the financial statements. But we here, just look at our model, we produced in, in here, we produced the um, adjusted trial balance in the worksheet. So should come up with the same answer. And then um, we were produced our financial statements from the worksheet. But typically in a business, the financial statements will be produced straight out of um, the general ledger. Yeah. But this was just easier for us to do. Um, we should also add these up. Just a little bit of completion. Just to check that they're all equal. I know, so only two more um, significant tasks to do, and that's the closing entries. Uh, a closing is a pretty important part. It, it finishes things off for um, next year, empties out all the temporary accounts. That's all of these. Um, and this one empties out all of the temporary accounts. And um, then the thing we need to do after that will be our ratios.